Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out antiquing in the Midwest, heading to Timberwood Antique Mall using our Antique Shops of Michigan booklet. Let's read about what they're saying about the Timberwood Antique Mall. They got four antique malls out here in Beaverton we're gonna go uh, visit today. Uh, Timberwood Antique Mall. Do -do -do -do. Oh, 13,000 square foot building is full of quality vintage, antique, and primitive items collected by 35 plus dealers. Booths are placed between open wide aisles, making it easy to enjoy your shopping experience with us. Saving history and selling memories. Open seven days a week, 10 to 6. I like that. Um, looks beautiful out there. Like I said, this is going to be a fun one. We got a lot of shops to visit today, so they're going to be very short on our intros. So um, we got Eliza with us today. We got Amber with us today. She is going to be wearing the GoPro. So um, I get more comments about how people like uh, you know when she records because she's a little slower than I am. But we are going to be very diligent today because we have seven shops to visit and we're already about an hour behind. So uh, we're going to head in here, check this place out, hopefully get something, and then we will come back out and let you guys know what we think when we uh, come back home, which I already know, or come back into the vehicle, which I already know it's going to be a great place. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. And let's go pick up some things. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. That awesome. That is stellar. I'm trying to. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm glad for that. Dad hit the restroom. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Oh. That's a nice table and chairs. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. There. Brown's always my color, but it is. This is an awesome store. How, oh. How much would you think that would be? Uh, probably 500 and something. 375. Oh, that's a good deal. That is a stellar deal. All right. Hold so on. Let me get it in there. Well, no, she's fine because I, I can zoom in around her. That's awesome. Seriously, this one's crazy. Really good. Denton, this thing. Look at that corner cabinet. I think it's taller than you. I do All right, I just got them. There we go. Make sure the angle's correct on that. Ooh, what's that? You gotta keep looking down if you're I, I am. I'm adjusting it as we go. I would say those, that is definitely your booth. You will play your call box. I like that display cap. Look at that. Nice curved. This would be very close to the Hey. Hey, I remember that. My grandpa had that. Yep. He's well he's got one. Oh my gosh. What oh I was looking at this. I was gonna have the little Indian guy. Uh oh. That's why I said I didn't think it's bad in here. But having ceiling, yeah, all the time you come in, the store is a mess. <laughs> oh, well, we try to, we try not to be, you know, we're not, we're not the surprise, but we're trying not to give. I like this chair. I like this bar. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the slot machine. Oh, look at this one. 200 firm. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is awesome, man. If you get, if you guys are into signs, I am telling you, there is so many good signs here. How much is the mouse? The mouse is awesome. It doesn't matter. Cardboard sells too. Let's see. Yeah, pull out the skunk too. Yeah, I, I just want to see them both. How much? Is there a price on them? The mouse is. Oh. How much? Three twenty-five. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. 
Military. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. So you got different medals for different things, helmets, pictures, like oh, I wonder pictures. like where these actually came from. Like actually. Oh I'm sure. Oh, yeah, World War II. Read it. The tag tells you. Oh yeah, and badges and all that. Okay. It's gorgeous. Oh, how much is that? I'm not saying I'd buy it, but the only other number in there is 185. That is such a good deal. From Lansing. Looks like more like a church. I always have to look at these because after that one documentary we watched, you know, I hate a suitcase and like a Holocaust and stuff like that because you know, like they pack, they they pack suitcases. And, like, yeah. Yep. I love that. You need that for the living room. Yeah, the old fashioned. Oh, I seriously love that. It's really Like, that would look good. It's so good in our house. And just think for Christmas, all the Santas I could put on there. Well, the rolling pin holder? Well, it's a wine rack, and then, yeah, that's what people. We do the same thing. It's cute. Yeah, well, it's a smart idea because. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, pedal cars. Look at the ladder thing. That's all the, yep. Just try to adjust it if you need to. But the advertising you get out of it, it should offset. I have seen that. Oh, it's three, three different That's places. The Ten Commandments. <gasps> what? Three different places, the exact same one I've been to. That's it's a sign telling me I need to buy it. I don't know how much it is. Though. I don't see it. We'll come back to it because I want to keep recording. Then we'll go back and shop. Okay. You know, it, it's just a way for people to check in. It gets more advertising in the shop, and it gets more people to see your place. See that? You know, we've been there 11 years, and we're still getting. That is really cool. I didn't even know you were here. I don't know if you guys can see all the lightning rods. Those are so awesome. Oh and then, if you have a lightning rod that doesn't have a ball, my gosh. So many options. <laughs> <laughs> From white to blue to purple. Be cool for like shoes. The amber colored, yeah. That is. Awesome. We have to have a lot of shoes. Uh oh, sorry, my screw came undone. I'm about ready to lost the camera. There we go. That's too tight. There we go. Okay, now back to a stickly beacon bench. Look at the bench. It's so big. Of the fish? Dad's gonna have to do a voiceover anyway. I mean, it's the radio kills it. Copyright. Copyright will get you every time. I seriously love this store though. Some of the old Drucktos. It's like so funny because every store. If this was not 150, I'd get Grandma that. Yeah, Grandma would love that. I don't oh. know what it is. Is it a, does it say on the back? The donkey, donkey game? game? They don't know either. That is so cool. Coffee grinders, the wall ones, the 85. Wow. Like I said, just a little bit of everything. Is that a basset? <laughs> Looks like a basset. Remember every time we see a basset, we always pick it up. Well, I found one. Look it. The oh, ears. That's cute. So this is like makeshift. Sure that bear head, though. I 
think you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. It's not a, it's not a taxidermy yeah, or anything, I'm looking but for professional all the elves. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah just be careful with those because the strings on them are very no, school but... cabinet. I wonder, I wonder if we can uh, flip that for a little more. I will ask Dad's opinion on that one. Yeah, I'm not really to get a bunch of this. Oh, look at, the, look at that cabinet. Ooh. That's cool. Looks like a little gold tooth. Pyrex. Oh. Always collectors for Pyrex. Pyrex is like, we get so old so fast. What's that? No, there's so many different patterns of Pyrex. So many. Maybe it's just the ones I've seen. There's some that are common for sure, but there's also a lot of them. That, that's a cute little cabinet. Yeah, it is. How much is that? Is there a price on it? Do you see a price? I'll tell you, I'll have to take you more with me. It's so much easier when you have somebody else to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those. Hold on. There we go. I think you can see it. Between our nose are hilarious. <laughs> those are so cool. Oh, those like. Oh, wait. Those are not sirens. Those are no. What's that? Oh, okay. those are um, railroad lights. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's cool. The little pirate thing. Call my lanterns. Here we go that way. Um, we yeah, we started this way and then we kind of went that way, but like I said, I don't know. I think there's some on the other side. Enamel top table. Cover. Yeah, look at that. Oh, grandfather. Wait, is that grandfather? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have space for another I one, like so don't this. ask. All right. Well, I think that completes cool. the recording. Oh, look at that. They got the old. Look at that one. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, it's like a whole ice cream thing. It's like ice cream. It is. Yep. It is. And then they got the neon light to go with it. That's really cool. That's awesome. All right. Well, we're going to stop that here then. All right, so Timberwood Antique Mall is in the books. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of this up to Amber because I was talking to the owners for quite a long time. So um, I did get to see everything, but I didn't get a chance to investigate a little as much as she did. So I'll kind of leave it up to her to kind of let you know what she thought. I thought the store was amazing, but let's see what she thought. That is exactly what I was just going to say. Amazing. The, I mean, just the variety, the layout of the store, very open aisles. I went around each booth. I didn't have to worry about knocking something over, but the displays were awesome prices i mean were great not to buy to resell but as just as if it was me collecting oh absolutely like i said just the prices were just good the, the nothing was overpriced nothing so was you overpriced. can easily go in there and buy stuff and it can make a day of it and a trip of it because it's a nice huge shop uh they were doing a little bit of remodeling in there told me so it's not the perfect looking shop they said they said it's though. they said it's a lot more in there which i get there was plenty more to see but from what i've seen this place is a must visit. Like Absolutely. I'm not ranking shops anymore because we have so many great shops to come visit, but this is one of the best shops I've been to in Michigan. This was a lot of fun, great location, amazing customer service. I mean, oh, we gosh, sat and talked yes. to those guys for a while. I mean, very nice people. And they did not know who we were when we walked yeah, in. Yeah, so it wasn't, so it wasn't that's you know, not we, a, we don't identify ourselves no, too we fast. Don't. So, um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, Timberwood Antique Mall, um, it's on the outskirts of Beaverton. 
uh, very much needs to come, you need to come visit this place. This was a lot of fun. There's other shops in town too, so you're gonna have plenty of stuff to do. We're gonna go visit a couple more now. You guys will be seeing those videos soon, but yes, Timberwood Antique Mall was a must visit in my opinion. We'll be back. Yeah, we will definitely be back to this place. This was a lot of fun. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys wanna like, subscribe, comment, share, all those great things it's much appreciated but never expected and if you guys get some time please feel free to come on visit timberwood antique mall if you're in the beaverton area or if you're in the nashville area and you want to come talk to us feel free to do that and get your antique fix i'm, I'm m66, m66. See, see you guys, guys later, later.